we're excited uh, about our opportunity this weekend. Um, got in late last night, obviously, from a road trip. And I think we rolled in about 2.30. Three. 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 <laughs> so it was, a, you know, it was a late night for these kids. They had to be in class this morning. But uh, um, just excited about the opportunity to go on the road, play a top ten team, a well-coached team um, on their floor be our uh, good test for us. You're playing a team that's got two former SEC players on there and, um, and that have transferred into there and so they'll they'll have a, a feel for what's coming and uh, but I can tell you I'm excited about taking my team and it starts with these two. These two veterans uh, know what it's like to go on the road. I'm going to get to take uh, T back home. She's 30 miles from Austin, Brenham, Texas and so uh, just, uh, um, you know, really, uh, just really looking forward to the opportunity. A lot has happened since that last time you went there. I think that was the last regular season non-conference loss that y'all had. Right. And since that time, a couple Final Fours, and you go on this long run. Have you thought about um, that ball game and kind of how far y'all have come since that, since that point? Sure. I think y'all played them pretty tough, and it was a good game. But... Uh, then you got over the hump. Yeah, got beat 53-45, I think. And, uh, you know, it was Tierra's freshman year. You think how far she's come since then. I remember after the game, I think T was in tears because she was seeing her family and didn't really want to leave them. And uh, just, you know, getting back home as a freshman and being away, you know, you, your heart goes out to your freshman because, you know, it's, you know, it's hard. That's the thing people don't get is, we got kids from all over the country, all over the world. Chloe's from halfway around the world, and so you get a chance to go back and be around family. It makes it really special. And so uh, Victoria went five for twenty that night, and uh, you know we we got beat in a real defensive struggle, fifty three forty five. And uh, I think we we got down early, and we really never could quite get over the hump. But uh, it was a very competitive game. And, and since then, they've come here, and uh, we had a, a great game with them here, and uh, so now we're we're going back. T, how many family, how many tickets and stuff do you have coming this weekend? Well, I'm a lot over, probably like 10, 15, I think. It's a lot. What are you looking forward to about you know, just playing in your home state in front of a, a bunch of family? Mm, them just seeing me play in person. They watch me on TV a lot, so they get to see me in person. Tay, do you remember anything from that first game uh, against Texas? No, it was sad after the game, yeah. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vicky, you talked about that game being low scoring. Obviously, you guys have scored a lot of points this year. Do you feel like it could be another low scoring game like that? And how comfortable are you if it is that? It, you know, I, it might be. I'd be surprised if it was. I think we're. You know, we're really capable. Last night's a great example. We scored 13 points in the first quarter and then go 31 and 32. I mean, you talk about schizophrenic. I mean, that's two ends of the spectrum. But I think when we get in a groove like that, when you're making people miss, I think we held them to 27% in that second quarter. And Tier is throwing the outlet or Anrail's getting a rebound and leading the break. You know, I think we can, we can score in bunches. And you get people playing at, at our tempo. So... Um, you know, they're scoring a, a, a lot of points as well, 76 a night. So I think we both would be shocked if it's that way, but it, it could very well be, no doubt about it. Andrew, I'll coach used the word uh, interested upstairs to characterize how, how in tune he thinks that you guys are going to be for, for the game Sunday. How, how does that, uh, that opponent, how does that change? your guys' mindset, you know, no disrespect to the, the others before it, but top 10 team on the road, how does that, how do you think that that will affect you guys? Um, yes, definitely. I think that these next few practices, they have to be spot on. Um, we need minimal mistakes and we have to be focused. That's the main priority is to be focused and stay focused, focused throughout this whole time preparing for Texas. So I think the focus level is the main thing that we have to work on and then Playing hard and the other little stuff that come with it. You have an interesting dynamic this week. You get to go up against Danny and your teammates, and they'll mm -hmm. transfer. You're playing against each other. 
have you talked to her this week? And what's, what's this conversation? <laughs> I was just like? on the phone with her probably like 10 minutes ago. But <laughs> yeah, um, that's my very close friend. She's like a sister to me. Um, but I'm really excited to play against her, but it'll be no mercy shown, even though we're close. Um, but it'll be, it'll be fun. It'll definitely be fun and ready to compete against her. So. Do you have any sense that this is uh, an opportunity for, for this year's team to, to prove itself against a top 10 team on, on the road? Definitely, yes. Um, I think that uh, this will be our first, you know, top 10 matchup. Um, and I think this will show whatever we need to work on and show if we're, we're ready for it. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how these next few practices go, and we'll see how we come out. Ready. Coach, can you speak to that a little bit about, uh, obviously, on the road, uh, top 10? How, how do you hope that that grabs your kids' attention? Yeah, I think it will for sure. Um, you know, uh, I, I've been talking to this team about, you know, a, a trust level for me as a head coach. Uh, I thought last year's team really created a trust level with me where I didn't have – too much uh, trepidation or reservation going into ball games. I just felt like I had certain players I knew were going to show up and play, and um, and so I'm still developing that trust level with this team. But uh, you know, being able to go in there and, and play, I know these two will be ready. Um, you know, T's going up against a, a former SEC post player who's now uh, you know one of the better post players in the Big Twelve. And so she, she knows she's going to have to be on, on point. Um, you know, Ann Riel, um, again, been to the wars, knows what it's all about, understands compete, you know, how, what it's like to compete against those kinds of teams on the road. And so uh, and you can throw Jazz in that mix in Jordan. So I really, you know, <clears throat> I want to lean on those kids, and I want them to understand it's really important that they're ready to go. And uh, it's really important that they – set the tone this week in practice uh, the rest of the week and, and us getting ready uh, for that ball game. Again, it's a non-conference game. You know, we're going on the road. They're top ten, we're top ten. But, but it's important we go in there and, and, number one, that we prepare well, number two, that we play well. They've had some injuries and Jesse Patterson transfers. What does this team look like as opposed to the first year? What, what do they look like? In this well, they're still ultra athletic, uh, tremendous guard play. Um, obviously, big kid inside uh, allows them to do some things, and uh, you know, I, I think for they're a lot like a lot of teams in the southeastern conference from an athletic standpoint. Well coached, uh, you know, they're going to be. In, 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 hey, they're sitting there for the next three days, getting ready for number six coming in, so they'll have some focus and intensity in practice and uh, and uh, they'll be at home in front of their crowd it's Sunday afternoon at 1. Uh, I'm hoping uh, everybody goes to 12 o'clock service and they'll make it before halftime. You, you guys started the week with five players uh, scoring double figures and obviously last night you kind of had that again. Uh, how, what, what kind of a challenge is it to continue that through the course of the season getting, getting different players regardless of opponent injury? Yeah, I think that's the uniqueness of this team right now is we take what people give us. Uh, you know, I thought last night we we uh, we took what they gave us. Uh, you know, I thought Tierra really played with a lot of energy early, um, competed for every rebound early. Um, uh, same thing with Anriel. I think think they both, when, when you got 15, 9, and I think Chloe had 8. So... 32 rebounds between three players. That's pretty good, but that's kids competing. I mean, they're, you know, they're not going well. She can get this one. I'll just wait over here. You know, that, that's not what we're interested in. We got to get down there and fight for. We fight for every ball and, and rebound. But uh, I think that's the uniqueness of this team is that, you know, we we've got kids that can really um, step up and, and and score the ball and and do it in a number of different ways. So, um, you know. We've played seven games now, and uh, the numbers don't lie. You start looking at stats and, and field goal percentage, things like that. T's at 71, which is a really good number. And uh, Jordan's at 63 for a guard. That's a really good number. And, um, and so we, we've got to continue. We had 60 points in the paint last night, I think, 50 or 60. So, you know, we've, we've got to continue to work hard and, and uh, 
run our offense and, and have patience. At the same time, we've got to stop turning the ball over. You, know, you go on the road this Sunday, we can't turn the ball over. We've got to get a shot every time. Because how big was it to pull uh, T out of the state of Texas in the recruiting process? Because they really take their basketball serious. So that was a good gift for Mississippi State. Wasn't it? Without a doubt. Uh, she, she lives 38 miles from one school and 30 from the other. And uh, again, I think that speaks volumes for Mississippi State, for our staff, our program, that Tierra would pick us and, and choose to come here. And then I think we've lived up to what we told her we would do with her and uh, developing her. And I'm just so proud she's going to graduate in four years. Uh, you know, uh, I'm as proud of that as anything that's happened with the kid and, and the kids in all America. And I'm awfully proud of that. But to know she's going to graduate, to see her develop as a young woman, to see her impact in our community, uh, to see her growth, her personality come out. Three, four years ago, you could have got two words out of her. Um, and, uh, you know, you guys ought to, an interesting story, you ought to follow her around. Her and Jazz, what they do with young kids as part of their degree plan, you know, with their... Uh, their internships and things like that. I mean, Jazz is working with three-year-olds every day. We were talking uh, the day before yesterday. She's got to have, uh, no, yesterday we were talking in study hall uh, before the game, and I said, what are you doing? And she goes, I'm writing up lesson plans. You're writing up lesson plans for three-year-olds? I said, I got a bunch of lesson plans for my three years of coaching in high school, but they ain't for three-year-olds. Um, but... You know, T, same thing, their, their degrees and dealing with young kids and to see their, their joy and of how good they are, they are at it. To see um, the impact that they have, and it ain't going to end. You know, she's going to graduate, she's going to play a long time, but then when she's done with that, she's going to fall back on this degree and, and be so good at what she does. But... I'm just really, obviously, I'm just extremely proud of her. I've got, she's one of the better stories in my career of, uh, of just a kid that's just really developed and matured and, and uh, uh, blossomed. I mean, blossomed as a player, blossomed as a young woman. Um, just really special. we got one more question for players if you need a question. Yeah, and real, uh, obviously with the rebounding, that's kind of it's something just talked about uh, having you uh, pass the ball more assists last night with six. Um, how much do you feel that you're um, not, not fitting in, in that way? I did but, have six, but I could have had eight or nine. I missed yeah. a lot of reads. Um, but yeah, I had six, yeah. Coach. Yeah. Um, yeah. How, much do you, how much do you feel that you're um, embracing is not the right way to ask the question, but you're getting maybe more comfortable doing I mean, I still have some ways to go. It's just, I have to make the right reads. Um, I have to see the floor better. Um, and that's something that, being more of an offensive player now, that's something that I, I've been working on. So, I still have some ways to go. But yeah, I had six coaches. T, T had a couple of high loves to her last night. You know, made some good reads to her and got her the ball down on the block. And, and she's really good down there. I mean, she can finish against size and, and she's smart. Again, I got good. I got, you know, these two can really pass the basketball. Um, I think where Amrielle's learning to pass it is off the bounce. She's she's got to learn to when people rotate and help. She's got to find that 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 next person that's open. Where that help come from? Whether it's ball side wing or if it's T on a quick up. But um, you know, that's something we've been talking about and continue to work on with her because she's added the range to her game. Now she needs to. Get, she's got the 15 foot shot to her game. She needs to add the get into the rim explosively to the game, and then when people help off, can she find that next person? And it's hard to do. She's been here three months. It's hard to do that. There's so much you want to teach a kid because she's such a special player. But you also got to understand too, it's it's a process. You just don't learn it overnight or in one practice or in one week. And uh, but. Does that mean I'm just not going to try? Absolutely not. I think six assists last night show she's learning. All right, players, I'm going to wait.